इस वक्त मैं जहाँ खड़ा हूँ ये अमेरिका के मीशत का मरकज समझा जाता है ये वॉल स्ट्रीट का इलाका है और आज यहाँ जो हजारों प्रोटेस्ट तब यहाँ जमा है वो इसलिए जमा है कि वो इस निज़ाम से तंग आ चुके हैं और इसके खिलाफ एहतजाज बुलंद कर रहे हैं ओबामा के जमाने में बैंकों को जो रियायत दी गई उसके हवाले से भी इनका एहतजाज है इनका कहना है कि जे पी मॉर्गन ने न्यूयॉर्क पुलिस को पाँच मिलियन डॉलर की रकम दी उसके बाद न्यूयॉर्क पुलिस ने इन पर जुल्म करना शुरू किया कर, मुजाहरीन कल कल जब ये एहतजाज के लिए निकले तो तकरीबन आठ सौ मुजाहरीन गिरफ्तार किए गए थे और जो इस वजह से कुछ लोग अब तक जेल में हैं और कुछ बाहर आ चुके हैं जितने लोग यहाँ मौजूद हैं उनका ये कहना है कि हम इस उस वक्त तक नहीं जाएंगे जब तक निज़ाम को नहीं बदल देते आज इनको आज यहाँ सत्रह दिन हो चुके हैं लेकिन उनका कहना है कि गर्मियों के जाने के बाद सर्दियाँ आएंगी हम उस वक्त भी यहाँ खड़े रहेंगे इनका ये कहना है कि ये ये इलाका जो है वो न्यूयॉर्क का इलाका है लेकिन ये मिस्र के तहरीर स्क्वायर की याद दिलाता है कि जहाँ लोग कामयाबी तक खड़े रहे इनका ये भी कहना है कि यहाँ जो जुल्म है जिसमें एक फीसद अफराद दौलत पर काबिज हैं जबकि निन्यानवे फीसद अफराद यहाँ गुरबत की जिंदगी गुजार रहे हैं और यहाँ बेरोजगारों की बड़ी तादाद जमा है जबकि यहाँ बॉल होमलैंड सिक्योरिटी का ये कहना है कि जो मुजाहरीन यहाँ जमा हैं उनमें हैकर्स भी हैं जिनका प्लान ये है कि जो फाइनेंशियल मराकस की जो वेबसाइट्स हैं जो बैंकों की वेबसाइट हैं उसको वो हैक करेंगे और उस पर अपनी मर्जी की चीज़ें डालेंगे ये एक ऐलान जंग है जो इंटरनली हम ओबामा को बर्दाश्त करनी पड़ रही है जबकि अमेरिका इस वक्त दुनिया पे कब्जा करने की कोशिश कर रहा है दो ममालिक में बाकायदा फौज हैं बक्य ममालिक में धमकियाँ दी जा रही हैं लेकिन अपने मुल्क में उनका यह हाल है कि यहाँ लोग सड़कों पर निकल आएँ एहतजाज कर रहे हैं और ये कहा जाता है कि ये सिर्फ आगाज है इंतहा तक ये अपनी जद्दोजहद जारी रखेंगे I live in the United States of America. I refuse to accept that we live in a prison for profit state and I will not be scared of the police. Thank you. What do you, why are you here today? To bring a little justice back to the system. End corporate malfeasance. Have them be treated like any other criminal sent to jail. Hard time. But uh, do you think you are going to change the system? I believe so. This is where it starts. It's already spread quite far, so I think we're doing the right thing. People are comparing this one uh, to uh, Egypt's uh, Tahrir Square. Is this? Uh, do you think same same way? We hope so. We hope we could be anywhere half as successful as that. We're just trying to get the word in the same form because it obviously works and it's what's necessary. Thank you. Why are you here today? Why am I here today? I'm here to. Uh, I'm going to stay here until justice is served for the people that took down our towers. George Bush and Cheney when they go to jail that's when I'll go home because it was an inside job and everybody knows it my brother Thank you to be accountable for what they've done to this country. Do you think you'll you will change the system? I do. I think our voices need to be heard. The upcoming generations. This is what we're going to be living with. We're inheriting our, this nation. So, we need to stand up for ourselves. hurting because of the economy right now and so we're here um to be with all of these people and we're amazed at the energy and the solidarity and the just the 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 revolution that's happening right now I'm not afraid to be arrested um I could have been I was on the bridge yesterday I could have been arrested um and I I've talked to the people who were arrested everybody's okay we're all here together and we have the support of thousands of people and we have the support of people all across the country so no i'm not afraid i 
here today? What's happening? Why are you here today? I'm against, corp I'm against corporate greed. I'm here to be a proud American, to let my um, fellow Americans know that we need to wake up and try to understand why the problem about our economy has come the way it has come. It's because of all this greed in this country, and it starts right here in Wall Street. We need to do something about it. That's why we're here today. How long are you going to be staying? I'm here for the day, but I'm coming back again. I live around here. What about the other protests? How long uh, they have programmed to stay here? Oh, I think this is going to go on indefinitely. It's going to not stop, my friend. People are angry. Things have got to change. It's not going to end. This will continue. Thank you. Uh, we didn't see much in the media, and we thought there was some nice thing on Twitter, so we came to look uh, by ourselves. Compare anything with, in Egypt, Tahrir Square, and Palestine. Uh, I'm not sure. We can't. We can't really compare. I mean, people. You know, I mean, you can't compare the regime in Egypt and what we have here. So, I mean, it's just well, it's a nice marketing stuff to compare it to what the uh, 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 Even Bloomberg says now same thing happening in America. The young people are getting up because of the Middle East. Yeah, yeah, of course. I'm just saying that the conditions are not the same, and they were heroes. I mean, those people are like heroes, but I mean, they're not, you know, risking their lives, whereas they were in Egypt. And Compare uh, Tahrir Square in Egypt and Wall Tahrir Square in Egypt and Wall Street in New York. Um, well, I think that in a lot of ways, our, I mean, we look the same in a lot of ways. Um, sometimes our media likes to make us look different than other people in, the, in other parts of the world. But when it comes down to it, we are uh, going through the same struggles in a lot of ways. A lot of profit for certain individuals to invade those countries, but it's not good for the nation as a whole or the nations that are being invaded, obviously, to be invaded. And it's going to hurt everybody except for the very top uh, who are profiting from the wars. And obviously, that needs to stop.